us to an Italian restaurant. Hi, excuse me. Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? About what? It's about your feet and mental health. Uh, okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Can we sit in the grass, in the shade? Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Great. Uh, let me see. Let's get this backdrop right here. All right, you can have a seat like right here. Okay. So it's just a conversation. Okay. All right. So just be yourself. All right, so how do we get to this moment? Just now, how do we get into this? Um, you asked me if I was doing an interview and I said yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Why'd you say yes? Uh, I got some time to kill. Okay. Well, why not? All right, awesome. Uh, how do you feel about the subject matter? I don't know much about it, I have to say. What is it about? Uh, feet and mental health. Right, exactly. So, um, how do you feel about your feet? You don't think about them much. You don't think about them much? Okay. How do you feel about mental health? Uh, I feel very strongly about it. Okay. Why? Uh, because it's important and I think, at least where I come from, a lot of people don't give a lot of credence. So, I feel like it's important. Okay. Do you have a therapist? I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Have you heard of uh, dialectical behavioral therapy? No. DBT? Okay. So, my therapist taught me DBT. So essentially, let's say if someone is suffering from anxiety and you have like a fear of approaching strangers, fear of talking to people, DBT will advise you to go out and to talk to people, to expose yourself to that which makes you anxious. And um, when you start to feel those feelings, you do a self-assessment and you ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? You know, is this life threatening? Is there a threat to my safety or health? If not, they tell you to apply what is called opposite action. So if your anxious feelings want you to withdraw from people, you instead engage and you anticipate a positive outcome and you cope with it. And then you know what happened. You keep a diary and you say, okay, how did I react in this situation? Was I mindful? Did I live in the moment? Did I let go of my worries? Was it a pleasant experience? So you can come back to it and see your progress. So I decided instead of keeping a uh, written diary, I'm doing like a video diary, a vlog of my application to DBT. Now, as it relates to feet, I've always had an attraction to women's feet. And there are other guys as well that like women's feet. But some guys are afraid to talk about or expose that about themselves because they're afraid of what the reaction might be because some may interpret it as being weird or strange. So my videos are designed to see a different range of reactions from women okay. so they can be able to cope ahead and to be able to see the type of different behaviors that are out there. So that's the whole concept of the YouTube channel. Okay. What do you think about that? Uh, as it pertains to what? What do you think about the concept? of the DBT, the mental health, and the feet thing. I think thing. the DBT is super great. Okay. <laughs> like, that's how you get over things is you expose yourself to them. So that part okay. is awesome. How do you feel about guys that like women's feet? You know, everybody's got their thing. There's yeah. There's like... Okay. Have you ever encountered a guy that likes women's feet? I can say I have. You no, haven't? No. Really? Not that has been made known to me, so... Okay. Uh, how often do you wear like sandals or open toe shoes? Quite a bit? Yeah. Okay, how often do you get like, pedicures? Do I go get pedicures? Yeah, do you get pedicures? Uh, some, yeah, sometimes. Okay. How would you feel if a guy gave you a compliment about your feet? Probably be indifferent. Like, indifferent, really? Yeah. So you wouldn't feel good or bad about it? It would just be like, whatever? Yeah, just be like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> okay. What about a guy who, like, okay, would want to give you, like, a foot massage, kiss on your feet, smell your feet, lick your feet, and those activities? Everybody's got their thing. And if I'm into them, like... Sure. Okay, that's cool. So you're just pretty much yeah. right down the middle and different to it. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So you would you say you're receptive to the idea? Yeah. Okay. How have you always been like that in your life or did you did it take time for you to get to that um, in your life to being like open? That's a good question. Um I've always been pretty open and especially the past couple of years I feel like the parts of my life that I've not been open to I've worked on being more open because like why should you be judging people for anything so, okay so so, yeah. so did you get that help from your therapist or is that something that you developed on your own no just kind of on my own you should be pretty accepting of people and so the parts of my life in which I wasn't being as accepting as I want to be I want to change so 
that's very good uh, perspective. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Can we see what your feet look like close up? Mm, I don't know. No, you don't know why. Um, just because. Uh huh. If I was wearing sandals right now, it probably wouldn't matter. But mm -hmm. I don't know. So you're wearing shoes and you're wearing you wear some Nikes and yeah. you wear some socks. Yeah. So what's the issue? The issue is more about me and my partner mm -hmm. and my current partner. I wouldn't want to do anything that would make him feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And so if I was single, it, like it'd be like, yeah, who cares? But I don't know because it's. Um, because it's relating to attraction and stuff like that, I feel like that's a betrayal to him, even if it's not something that I'm into, if that makes sense. Okay. So you think yeah. you would have a problem with it? No, it's not that I have a problem. No, no. Do you think he would have a problem with it? I don't... I think that he would have a problem with me doing anything that would be receptive to other people and intentionally making myself, like... Available is not the term I'm looking for, but um, it just seems like it would be a violation because doing something that I know is for somebody else's attraction seems like a violation of the relationship, even though it doesn't matter to me and it he's not necessarily into feet or anything, but it has nothing to do with that. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I respect that. All right, so wrapping things up, what did you think about this interview and this experience? It was a good talk. It was a good talk? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any recommendations or suggestions of how I can make it better? Any modifications or refinements should be applied? No, I thought it was a good talk. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time and energy. Any parting words? Not really. I'm All right. Sorry. Cool. Take care. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. All right, so how do we get to this moment just now? Yeah, what's the video about? My feet, mental health. Exactly. So why did you say yes to the interview? Because I thought it would be funny to watch once it was posted. Okay. <laughs> That's the only reason? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about the subject matter? I don't see how it correlates. You don't? Okay. Do you have a therapist? Yes. Okay. Have you ever heard of uh, dialectical behavioral therapy? No. DBT? No. Okay. So let's say someone is suffering from anxiety like a fear of approaching strangers, DBT will advise you to go out and to approach strangers okay. and to uh, do it over and over again. Put yourself in that uncomfortable position out of your comfort zone. And then when you start to feel uncomfortable, you do a self-assessment asking yourself, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Is this life threatening? Is there a threat to my safety or health? If not, then they say apply what is called opposite action, which just means do the opposite of what those feelings want you to do. So if those feelings want you to withdraw from the person, you instead engage and anticipate a positive outcome. And afterwards, you keep a diary of every event, noting, you know, how mindful was I? Uh, did I live in the moment? Was it pleasurable? Did I let go of my worries? So you can see your progression. So as it relates to feet, I've always had an attraction to women's feet. And there are other guys that like women's feet as well. But some guys may be um, hesitant or nervous about talking about it because they're afraid of the reaction. So my YouTube is showing different interactions I have with women to see how you feel about your feet and how you feel about guys that like women's feet. So guys can watch my videos and learn how to get over you know, the anxiety, anticipate different behaviors coming from women. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, what do you think about that? Um, what do I think about my feet? Well, what do you think about the concept first? Oh, I like that. You I do? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. So how do you feel about your feet? They're like just a body part. Just a body part? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever been complimented? No. No? Really? How old are you? I'm 21. 21, 21 years you've never been complimented. How often do you wear sandals or open toe shoes? Um, in the summer a lot. Okay. So it's summer now. Do you wear it often? Sandals, I open guess. toes? Yeah? Okay. How often do you like pedicures? Like, not a ton. I, do, I beat my own toes. Okay, okay. So if a guy were to give you a compliment about your feet, how would you feel about it? Um, I don't know. I think guys that like feet, like, they kind of get a bad rap. 
Mm -hmm. So I'd probably be like, oh thanks, and like laugh to my friends, be like, oh my god, you hear that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Would it make you feel good? Would it make you feel bad? How would it make you feel though to receive a compliment? Very indifferent. Indifferent. Yeah. So okay, right in the middle. All right. Uh, what about guys that like into feet in the manner that they want to like, give you a foot massage, rub your feet, smell your feet, kiss your feet, lick your feet? Yeah, that would freak me out. A bit. That would freak you out? Why? I don't know. That's that's weird. That's weird to you? Yeah. yeah. Why is that weird to you? Like, I don't want you to touch my feet. Really? Yeah. You just don't want anybody to touch your feet at all. Wow. So like a massage? Yeah, I hate when they do that at the nail salon. You hate massages? On my feet, yeah. Really? Why? Where did that come from? You've always been that way? Yeah. Really? Since a child? So you don't like your feet being massaged or touched or anything? Ticklish. You're ticklish. And you, do you like being You don't like being tickled? No. Uh, okay. So you're one of those type of people. I just don't. I just don't want to touch people. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. All right. Well, can we see what your feet look like no. close up? No? Why not? I'm going to the Starbucks around the corner. Uh-huh. You know, you need to keep the shoes on. So you don't want to take them off? Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Um, I'd have to put them back on, and I really don't want to do that. Okay. All right, then. So uh, wrapping things up, what did you think about this interview and this experience? It's very interesting. Not what I thought you were going to um, ask me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there anything about the interview or the experience that could have been better? Do you have any recommendations, modifications that should be made? No. No? Okay. Any parting words? Um, no. All right. Well, thank you very much. Let's take care. Hi, excuse me? Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Sorry? Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Yeah. It's about your feet and mental health. My feet and yeah. mental health? Yeah. Wow, what's about it? So I'm a foot photographer and I teach other foot photographers how to get over anxiety. So by doing interactions between me and strangers. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's you got some time? How, how long is it? About 10 minutes. Let's see. Let me see how much is the Uber now. Uber? Yeah. Wait for Uber? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I got contacted by a person mm -hmm. regarding uh, to because I'm a yoga teacher, so I have kind of my nice speech. Mm -hmm. And but she was like, I think it was a she. She's like very random, and like I was like, yeah, I'm willing to work. And I sent her a couple of pictures, and she was constantly like asking for more, but never saying. Of like, your feet? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, on social media. Yes. On Instagram? Yeah, yeah. What do you what do you think of that? I don't know. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people on the internet. I do my thing face to face. Yeah. Like my whole thing is about YouTube. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sometimes there's guys a lot of guys ask for foot pics on online. But I don't know. But what do you use it for? Art or Well it's more like education, art and like cause um my thing is about teaching guys how to like interact with women. And to like communicate to women that you like feet. That's the whole interview is about. So, oh, are you cool it? talking about it? And I also take pictures as well. Hold on, eh? let me see something. Okay, let's okay. do it. Can we sit on the bench over there? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Argentina. Argentina? Okay. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think you took our bench. Some benches over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you have like a 
like a GoPro. Mm-hmm. Huh. I record my interactions. You're super organized. You're like your own enterprise. Yeah, yeah. I'm a full-time YouTuber. That's why. Oh, wow. Yeah, I upload every day. This is what I do. And you get paid? Yeah. I've always wondered, like, because it need, you need a lot of energy and time. To yeah, do. yeah. Like, it's a, a job. It is. It is. It's, a, it's more like a business, owning your own business. Yes. Because um, I upload every day. Every day. And, and you uh, go like to certain places like, yeah. that you know you might get. I go to parks, the city like this. I'm not even from here. I'm like on vacation and I want to try Washington DC. Ah, I'm where from are you from? Southern California. Oh, okay. Very far. Mm -hmm. You have a California vibe. I do? Yeah. <laughs> definitely not DC. Oh yeah? How so? It's like boring. Okay. I don't know, like a lot of suits because people work in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In office, you mm -hmm. know. Okay, let's go. And why did you choose DC? Um, I have a um, I belong to like a travel club, and oh. they offer like DC, so I was like, I'll go to DC. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's sit over here. Uh, let's get these bushes over here. Okay. Yeah, you, you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, right? Have a seat right yeah, here. Yeah, you get these bushes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's someone's seat. Okay, let's sit over here. Then. How you doing? And we got some sun. Uh, you can here sit right or, here. Okay. Let's go, go back. Seats. This bag is really trendy now, so, but the whole food. I have a trade, yeah. <laughs> I'll put this right here. Let me put some lipstick. All right. I used to work in TV in Argentina. On TV? See, really? I hosted Apollo, you know, the sport, mm -hmm. the horses, the polo show. Oh, okay. So you used to be on camera then? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Uh-huh. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so how do we get to this moment? Uh, you want me to tell? Yeah. So we were at H&M mm -hmm. uh, at the cashier. Uh, I, I saw you, you were in front of me. I mm -hmm. thought you, your vibe, your look was really cool. Mm -hmm. And then when I came out, you were there with your green juice and you approached me and you asked if I, you, you I could take pictures of my feet mm -hmm. or at least that's what I understood. Yeah. And I was like, that's, that's an interesting mm -hmm. proposal, right? Mm -hmm. So, First, I, I looked if you had any guns or knives, <laughs> and no, so I was like, okay, and that's that's what happened. Okay, so um, how do you feel about the sex? I also want to talk about mental health as well. Yes, of course. Yeah, so how do you feel about the subject matter being about guys that like women's feet or trying to like take pictures of women's feet and things like that? What do you think, thoughts about that? I mean, I see nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm a yoga teacher, yeah. so I'm really into feet. I I can tell by a person's feet and toes about their health if uh -huh. they take care of themselves. Right. Uh, so feet are really important. It's like hands mm -hmm. or any part of the body that interests you. Right. For me, there's not a no problem. I don't see a problem. Okay. Now I hear an accent. Where are you from? Argentina. Argentina. Okay, so <clears throat> how do you feel about guys who like want to give you like a foot massage, rub your feet, kiss your feet, smell your feet, lick I your mean, feet? I am married, mm -hmm. so I cannot do that with any other than my husband. Mm -hmm. But if I'm dating someone and that person is into that, mm -hmm. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Okay. Uh, if anything, I will be like, great. Yeah. You know, rub my feet and love it. Okay. Does your husband like your feet? Yes, he, he likes them, but he's a lawyer, mm -hmm. so he's not really into, like, 
like he's more mental and yeah. more like sensors you know, like i like the touch i'm we're different okay but yeah he likes me okay Very when i wear he likes when i wear high heels high heels yeah. okay cool cool can we see what your feet look like without yes, the flats okay so this is a very hot day. Uh-huh, I could tell. <laughs> very nice. Now I like when women wear flats. Thank you. Somebody's yeah. looking good. Can I touch your feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold it up like this. That's very nice. That's my favorite. I like that you wear your toes natural. Now like crush your toes, just your toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hold on. Like your toes like that. There you go. Very nice. Relaxing. What do your feet smell like right now? Uh, oh, I don't know because I'm a little sweaty, but usually they smell like lotion. Okay. Can I smell your feet? Yes. I can? It'd be okay with you being married? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Now, usually at this part of the conversation, I ask to lick the foot. <laughs> no, no. But I know because you're married, yes. that probably wouldn't be good. No, Smelling, is, yeah. All right, so. Wrapping things up, thank you for doing this. Now, the reason why I do this, as far as the mental health is concerned, mm -hmm. my th do you have a therapist? Yes, I go to therapy once a week. Uh, excellent. Do you know about dialectical behavioral therapy, DBT? No, I don't. Okay, so if someone is suffering from anxiety, yes. a fear of approaching strangers, DBT will advise you to go out and approach people, oh, to talk okay. to strangers, like exposure therapy, and to do it over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then when you start to feel those uncomfortable, anxious feelings, you ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. You do a self-assessment. And if there's not a threat to your life or a threat to your safety, like how you check to see if I had any guns or anything, yeah. they'll, tell you, <laughs> they'll tell you to act opposite to those negative feelings. So if you want to withdraw from the person, instead you engage. And then you imagine a positive outcome that's going to happen. Yes. Okay? And then you note down in the diary what happened. Were you mindful? Were you living in the moment? Did you let go of worries? Oh, okay. yeah. And keep a diary, a vlog, so you can go back and see your progression. So I decided to create a YouTube channel documenting DB, my DB, application of DBT through videos oh, instead of writing great. it down. Yeah. And so, as I explained to you earlier, I teach other guys how to get over anxiety. So this is about interviewing different women to see how you feel about feet, how you feel about guys that like women's feet, to see, you know, how women react to it so guys can be able to train themselves to get over anxiety and to see different reactions and be able to cope ahead of time so that's what this whole interview is about me touching your feet seeing how comfortable you are with your feet how you're able to go over your comfort zone and I myself think, as well yes i mean it also depends on the other person mm -hmm. and how well they are yeah themselves with their body mm -hmm. uh, it's a combination right because you might be very open and very my device got super hot. Yeah, I bet. Let's see. To train themselves to get over anxiety and to see different reactions and be able to cope ahead of time. So that's what this whole interview is about. Me touching your feet, seeing how comfortable you are with the ahead of time. So that's what this whole interview is Open and very Okay, so it cut out at a little small part. I'm going to ask you again about the modifications and everything. Oh, okay. Because my phone got hot so I'm gonna do that maybe in the shade yeah let's do it in the shade so this is take two because my phone cut out because it was so hot so I think we left off when I was telling you about why I do what I do and the mm -hmm. mental health aspect of it and how there are guys out there who um, are afraid to approach women because they are afraid of how certain women will respond so that's what my whole channel is about so do you have any like recommendations or suggestions of how like this process could be better, how um, I can modify it to make it um, more beneficial, or do you have any comments about this type of? No, I think I think you work great with what you got in the moment, and mm -hmm. that's very important when approaching a stranger mm -hmm. to not be weird about it, but just say like the other person cannot read your mind right. so just be assertive and say in a very polite manner of course what you would like mm -hmm. and then the rest is left to the universe okay. if that person is open or not that's not your problem mm -hmm. that's the other person so i would i always whenever i see someone that has a cool outfit or mm -hmm. i like something i say 
hey, I love your style, you know, and you made that person stay. Mm -hmm. It's not that they're going to react and be like, why are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. So it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. Mm -hmm. okay. You need to do yoga and relax. Okay. Well, thank <laughs> you very much. Any parting words for this? It was a, a, a lovely interaction. I'm very grateful. It was a surprise and I love surprises. So I hope you that you're watching uh, follow my friend's advice and just whenever you see someone that you are like, oh, I wish I could talk to this person, go ahead and do it. You only live once. Beautiful advice. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you. Namaste. 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 One more thing. Can I get another angle of smelling your feet so I can get the sunlight? Hi, excuse me. Hi. Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Huh? Can I interview you for my YouTube sure. channel? Yeah. It's about your feet and mental health. My feet? Yeah, and mental health. Okay. All right, cool. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. We got some good lighting too. Sure. This isn't too dark. All right, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. You ready? All right. <laughs> okay, so how did we get to this moment just now? came up to me to ask about this YouTube video. Exactly. What's this YouTube video about? Mental health. Uh-huh. And what else? Forgot already? My feet? Yeah, yeah, your feet. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel about the uh, subject matter? I feel I, I just want to know how those two are correlated. Okay. Related. I'll tell you exactly how they're related. Do you have a therapist? I don't have a therapist. Okay, so my therapist taught me dialectical behavioral therapy. Are you familiar? DBT? Okay, so let's say someone suffers from anxiety, like a fear to approach strangers, a fear of something. DBT will advise you to go out and approach people, to do it over and over again. It's like exposure therapy. And then when you feel those uncomfortable feelings, you're supposed to do a self-assessment and ask yourself, what's the worst thing that could happen? Okay? If there's not a threat to your life or a threat to your safety, then you're supposed to apply what they call opposite action. So if you're feeling that you want to withdraw, you engage instead, all right? And then you anticipate a positive outcome, and then you note in your diary what happened after every event. So you note whether you were mindful, did you let go of your worries, did you live in the moment, was it pleasurable? So you can see how far along you progress. Now, I decided to create a YouTube channel documenting it by video instead of on paper, okay? And as it relates to feet, I've always had an attraction to women's feet, <laughs> and there's other guys that like women's feet as well, right? But some guys, are reluctant or hesitant to tell that to women because they might think they'll get a negative reaction to it. Sure. That some women might think it's weird or strange. So my videos is designed to like interview random women, different strangers to see how you react to it, to see okay. what's your opinion of your feet and how you feel about guys that like women's feet. That's the question? Yeah, yeah. So that's the concept. What do you think about that? So look, how do I feel about my feet? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty tall. How tall are you? I'm 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Five nine, so okay. I have our, I wear a size 10, so I've always been really insecure about my feet really? because sometimes I wear the same size as boys. Mm -hmm. I've always had something else I used to care about. Um, yeah, I don't really wear sandals. I like to wear sneakers, like keep, keep your toes covered. Really? How often do you wear sandals or open toe when shoes? When I'm at the pool. Only at the beach at the pool. That's How often do you get to the beach? Last weekend. Last weekend. That was it. That was probably like, okay, I haven't gone to the beach because of COVID. So yeah. Like two years. Since two two years? Out. Two years? Yeah. Oh my. Only my eyes can see them. Wow. Why is that? Like, okay, so you've been insecure. Where's that insecurity come from? Um, just, I think. Were you I teased? Know, I mean, I was never really teased, but I mean, girls aren't supposed to have big feet, I feel like. Some guys like women with big feet. <laughs> Size 10 is not even that big. I know, but compared to the average girl. Okay, so how about this? What about if a guy was like into your feet? Okay. Like he wanted to give you a foot massage, rub your feet, smell your feet, kiss your feet. Lick. How old are you, by the way? I'm 18. Okay, perfect. Woo! I'm okay, because you got to be 18 for this. All right, cool. So what if a guy wanted to give you like a foot massage, kiss your feet, smell your feet, lick your feet, all that? Oh, um, I mean, I'm really trying to get the Okay. So if a guy was into your feet like that, would you feel more secure about your feet? I mean. Oh, maybe. I feel like you have to gain your confidence comes from yourself first. Right. 
maybe that would help. I think it's something I have to work on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's work on it. Can we work on it? I mean, <laughs> you don't want to take your shoes off. I'm Why not? not? Why not? Yes. Why not? I can't. What's the worst that could happen? I'm not. Not today. Why not? I just can't. You have a pedicure? No. No? Okay. Are you from out here? Yes. What if I took you to get a pedicure? No. No? Why not? I'll do my own. Sagan? I just can't. Why? Just What's the worst that could happen? I mean, is this a... special people. Only someone one day. So, what's the worst that can happen? From, okay, I'm a stranger, right? You're a stranger. You know, it's a beautiful summer <laughs> evening. You know, we're doing a YouTube video. I'm offering to give you a, a, or take you to get a, a pedicure on the house, complimentary of my what? YouTube channel. Complimentary. I need to get pedicure because I wear sneakers all the time. Yeah, but I want you to be more secure about your feet and feel good about yourself. That's what I, the channel is about. It's I about. Feel good about my feet. Say again? I think there's other things I should feel good about. Of course. Other than my feet. But my your feet, feet are, I actually, I don't think about my feet as often mm -hmm. as you think I might do. I know, but you could have really beautiful feet. And could you imagine, like, the opportunities you keep missing out on? The opportunities I'm missing out on? Yeah. Because... It's a whole new world. Yeah, it's a whole new world out there. Is it now? Yeah. It is. What am I missing out on? I mean, just... Name three things. Three things? I mean, first of all, wearing sandals and being ground to the earth more, having your feet out, which is more, which is very comfortable. I mean, it's uh, that's pleasurable. You could be a foot model, get paid for that. Uh, I'm just saying, there's like that's something that you would have to imagine. I mean, what's the? That's why I asked you, what's the worst that could happen from feeling good about your feet? Are you that insecure about it? I'm just fine not feeling... I'm just fine with it. I don't think it affects my daily life enough that I have to take off my shoes. Just, I mean, even with the application of DBT, like living your best life, getting the most out of life, and getting out of your comfort zone. I'm not taking off the shoes. Okay. What about the pedicure? <laughs> no! Okay. All right, then. Well, wrapping things up, what did you think about uh, this whole experience, this interview? That's fine. I'm very shy. Okay. I like talking to people. I just never approach people. Okay. Is there anything about the um, interview that could have been better? Do you have any recommendations, modification, uh, you refinements? I take my shoe off. Have, have any of these women taken off their shoes? Oh, yeah. You should go to my YouTube channel. They've done a whole lot more than take off their shoes. What? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Everybody's different, you know? That's why I tried to interview as many women as possible so everybody can see how different you women are. A lot, actually. On my channel that say yes to the interview. Yeah. But who take off their shoes? Who take off their shoes and socks? Yes, absolutely. In fact, I just asked a woman. Let me see, I interviewed how many people today? You are my fourth person I interviewed today. Uh, one woman was already wearing sandals, but she let me touch her feet, and I wanted to smell her feet, but she said she was engaged right now, so if she wasn't engaged, she would have let me. And then one girl let me smell her feet, kiss her feet, and lick her feet, and all that. See, they're too vulnerable. They make, with my toes out, I'm too vulnerable. I need my shoes. My toes. That's how I do Okay. That's it. I can't lose fingers. All right. And I even get a pedicure? Wow. <laughs> Turn down a pedicure. All right, well. Thanks for the offer, though. I'm sure someone will. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I already got one person to take me on the offer, so it's all good. No, for helping me with my YouTube channel. I try to help others who help me. Scouting sessions. You're scouting footballers. Exactly. You, you got it. Footballing uh, agency. That's, that's the YouTube. You don't need to do that anymore. You got YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, any parting words? All right, then. Well, take care. All right. One of the strangest encounters. Really? All right. Well, take care. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay.